This is a book review of Terror, a history of horror illustrations from the pulp magazines. Maybe it should be Terror illustrations. However, it's a bit more than pulp magazine. It covers a lot more period than that. Now, it's by Peter Haney, who's brought out vast numbers of books about horror, weird tales books, etc. Some titles there. It's got 176 pages. And of course, there's a number of other books that have come out since, and probably were books before that uh, covered a similar sort of thing. But this, I think, is a really, really good comprehensive view of like, weird tales, as well as many others. So, what's in this book? Well, it's 1978, this book came out, 176 pages, black and white and colour. And just goes through this, Barney the Vampire. You've got various illustrations here. Got more obviously these are all like Victorian period illustrations. And you've got Argosy, you've got I love these sort of uh, oh because some of these are virtually impossible to get. You probably can find them in like London, British Library or something. Or maybe of course New York Library. Probably the more maybe they're all specialist libraries as well. Of course you can find out more online where you can find these sort of books. And you've got other illustrations. Now there is a slight criticism here that quite often it's quite tricky unless you know who the artist is. When you look through it, I think, oh, that might be this person, that person. I would have to say I'm the worst person in the world to identify artists. So just here, Famous Fantastic Mysteries. And it's got a lot of talk there and things. And it, you have to research to find it's a uh, pulled cover from an early issue uh, featuring H. Thompson Rich story. But it doesn't actually give the, uh, the date, oh, obviously the date on the cover. So you have to look for that, April 1940. And so on and so on. So some, I would love it if it'd be more precise, more detailed, uniform format, maybe a description of it, and then maybe just a breakdown of the, obviously the artist and the date and the magazine. But it's not consistent there. So you, you have to sort of research around quite often look thinking, who's, who's the artist? It's not straight away obvious. But it does, like I say, does feature Strange Tales, June 1932. Uh, this one... Uh, so, uh, H. W. Wesso or Vesso, I don't know. Strange Tales, Fandom Detective. Obviously, you've got things like Dime Mystery Magazines as well. Legendary Weird Tales. You've got lots of. Obviously, you've got quite a bit of description about the things, and you've also got quite a lot of again examples of, of course, the classic, the Rhodes one. Yeah, that's brilliant. Weird Tales, Seabury Quinn. Love that. Great story. Weird Tales, again, lots more Weird Tales. Weird Tales all the way through this, and of course, you can see some of the illustrations. To be honest, they really didn't look that great by the end. Some of the images, I think, mm, they weren't brilliant, but however. Uh, some more A Merit. Now, unfortunately, also, another slight criticism, they've got a section, they've broken, he's broken it down with H.P. Lovecraft, which is fine, of course, I mean, the great. However, it does, I would love to have actually seen it broken down by the artist. It would have been a nice sort of this artist, that artist, this artist, that artist, and so on and so on. So you've got Robert E. Howard. So the book is about the illustrations and not particularly about the stories. So it's slightly odd in that respect. The minor criticism. And again here, you've got this one, Headman by Robert Block. A nightmare, actually, blah, blah, blah. Um, Headman, which appeared in Diamond Street, doesn't even tell you who the artist is. I don't know. Maybe it's on another page. But there's just odd bits like that that are pity. But other overall, I think this book, because it's just got some beautiful illustrations, just staggering the good the horror club. And of course it goes further on talking about uh, the the dying tradition, as it says. And I must admit it uh, of course has faded away. These sort of magazines are you kind of I don't know, fantastic. The unknown, I love some superb magazines, the unknown, unknown fantasy fiction. So many of these, a lot of these are 19, that's 1940s. So I don't know why it's been stuck away in the dying tradition section. You've got Shock, the magazine, terrifying tales. And Bizarre Mystery Magazine, magazine and strange fantasy and so on and so on. So, and now these are going into like 1969. 1974, up to the last one, a Spanish magazine there. So, but it's a still an absolutely brilliant book. I've had this book a number of times. One of those ones that I've got rid of, 
it's one of those things you, you do declutter occasionally and then you regret it of course and then you have to get the book back so i'm going to keep it this time i think this one will definitely so terror by peter Hayden, really enjoyable book